Hey guys, so I got this really bomb glam in Chicago. It was really hard to find hair and makeup people and they came through for me. It's a Saturday morning, which is like a really big like wedding day. And Esmeralda, she's Esme, M-U-A-X-O on Instagram. I am tagged her. And Angel from Glam Hair Co. came through and they did this really, I showed them a picture of like a glam I got in LA and they like really came through. Like I'm really, really impressed. It was really hard because they don't have glam squad app here in Chicago and they killed it. So, shout out to them. I'm about to film some Adam and Eve. That is where Jason is playing the Chicago Theater. We have a really cool, like, I didn't even show you guys at this room. I had to clear some camera space because, yeah, but you will come in this way and this is like the room. We're at the Ligam. This is like really, really nice. Got like a living area. Jason's getting Starbucks right now. But we're about to do a little Adam and Eve shoot. So yeah, so we're getting ready. Um, so we're gonna do a photo shoot. And then I'm gonna go see Jason at his last show of his tour. I'm so excited to start my tour. Like it's getting me so excited um, to like go see him to do my own. So yeah, I'm really proud of him. His name's on the marquee and that might be him now. So, oh, okay, probably. Okay, that was Jason. He wanted to know if I wanted iced or hot. I love him so much. Um, but yeah, Angel's boyfriend was the one that's like, you have to do Trish. And then I guess Esmeralda's sister knows me. And so I always, I love that. They were like super sweet and professional. Like didn't even say anything until like the end. But it makes me feel really good actually when people are like, oh, I know you. Or like someone loves you or something. Because then I don't feel, sometimes I feel like oh, nobody wants to do my hair and makeup. They're like, who is this bitch? You know what I mean? So that mean, meant a lot. So shout out to Angel's boyfriend, Esmeralda's sister. Because they really made it work for me. Which I really appreciated. Because I, I asked last minute. So. Yeah, hopefully this is writing to the car. I kept saying, like, not writing. <sighs> One thing after another, I'll tell you. Take the views to her. So cool. This is crazy. Huh? Hey, Chip. Hi. This is, like, really, really cool. I'm going to give you a lot of here. There's Jason. Daddy Jason. Babe, you're a celebrity today. Yeah. That means I'm extra horny. <laughs> One day out of the year. Yeah, yeah. Jason, my girlfriend Trisha. Hi, hey, nice hey, to meet you. Great to meet you. <laughs> okay, yeah. This is really cool. So they're about to do sound check. I'm on stage for I don't know why, but this is cool. This stage is a lot shorter than the others. Shorter? I like it's it. probably good because they can see you. Oh, that's, I know. It's yeah, not I good like call. It. I like that it's short. Yeah, this is so cool. Anyways, I better get off the stage, but I got my views cheerleader outfit. So exciting. I'm so excited for them. It's our last one. Oh, I have so much fun. I probably wish I was at all of them. So cool. It's better. Overview of my outfit. We're gonna set you guys up that I'm not gonna be distracting anybody. Okay, there we go. That's better. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so this is why we came pretty much. This is like the big epic finale. The views stop in Chicago. I have a little jacket that says Nash in the dressing room, but I'm so excited, I can't wait to watch it. Okay, guys. You know I love my little mukbang Pomeranian, but Doug the Pug right here, he just takes the king. He's the best little dog in the whole world. So cute. He's a superstar too. He's ready. If there's a camera, if there's a person that wants to love on him, are you just the sweetest? Doug the Pug! Doug the Pug! This is the benefits like, of being a YouTuber. Here. They would die. I love you. Oh, they were with us last weekend, and they wanted to come this weekend. Next time we're in LA. No, we don't let them be. Oh, really? Uh, uh, yes. Oh, okay. Oh, you put him in that chair. He has a table with a bed, and he just sits there. Yeah, they come up. Oh, yeah, I love them. Yeah. Do a left thing with you instead of the pug, but like just eating pizza for like him not saying anything. It literally goes around the Like, yeah, do it. I would love that. I will fly to you guys to do a mukbang with Doug. I love Doug. I would love it. Hey, can we go? Sure. A Doug the Pub collab is worth it. He's so cute. I love him. Did these people want to meet him? He's not even trying to, like, run out or anything. Oh, my gosh. I want a pug now. So here, like, he goes. He just got a new dog. I know. I need another one. I just got my first puppy ever, like, a few weeks ago. And now I'm, like, obsessed. Oh, my God. Well, my mom's watching him now, but he... He'd 
adorable. And someone else, I feel like I'm hogging him, but I just love him so much. Aww. No, he is, and he's so good. My dog always tries to run off of me. He just loves. Oh my gosh, you guys. Right. That's the pug. This might be the most famous person I've ever met. He's in the cute ass in his little shirt. Oh, these from the airlines.com get 10% off with my code Trish they also did my custom crack so shout out to the airlines guys I'm trying to show you these in the sun but how sick are my new my new vans they're so sparkly I wish you guys could see them like in the light I got these from the airlines the airlines.com that's where I get my bling crocs and all my bling shoes so if you guys want to get these you can get them for 10% off with my code Trish or anything on their website they're so sick. I know the owner, and she's like so nice, and they're so quick with it. Stones never fall off. I'm so obsessed. Hey guys, what is up? I'm gonna go look at houses today, and I'm gonna try and start on keto for a little bit. Um, I always think if I can do this for like five days, I'm like, I feel better. Like, it really is just about feeling better. I know a lot of people are like, you won't lose weight that way. And I get it. I get it. But I just want to, I wonder how long this stays good. I got this last week. And I know my mom freezes this. But like, I didn't. So, like, is this still good? Because I really want some of this. But, like, just keep refrigerated. Okay. You guys, let me know how good this lasts. Like, it's supposed to be good for it. Because I know my mom freezes bacon. I don't know if that's like a weird thing. This is till September 1st, so this is good. Okay. When I did the cooking, because this is my vlog channel, hi. I did like a main channel one because I thought this was so like smart of me to like cook scrambled eggs with no milk. And then so many people were like, are you supposed to cook the scrambled eggs with milk? So I guess a lot of people just, just don't. Except for me over here, but. actually pretty quick to make. I'm looking at houses again today. I really want to move, but you know, I'm always saying I want to move. Who knows? I don't know. Moving is also so much work and it's like so stressful for me. And at the same time, it's like I complain a lot about where I live, but it's it's okay. I mean, it is overpriced, like overpriced for sure, but it's 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 nice. Like I look at other places and I'm like, okay, like Trish, you have it pretty good. So it is okay. And it kind of depends on a lot of factors. A lot of factors I can't really talk about because they're just like personal. But I always think whatever is meant to be, it will be. And that I just am, that's, you know, I've always believed that, but I'm like practicing that more a lot lately to try and not push things in life, to make things happen in life. It's like, you know, whatever will be, will be. And you know what? Life has been good because of it. I've been a lot less stressed about like my relationship and putting pressure on that and trying to move that forward. I don't know. Sometimes you also think too, you have to stop and think like, why are we all in a rush to do stuff in life? For me, this is going to be morbid, <laughs> but like I really want to get married because of my family. Like tomorrow is promised to no one, including me, including Jason, including my mom, my dad, my brother, my sister, like, you know, anybody special in my life. Like it's literally promised to no one. And again, everything happens for a reason, I know, and death is a reason. Death is something I don't think will ever be explained to any of us until we die, until we figure it out. Let me wash my hands real quick. Um, I have so much stuff I can show you guys over here while this cooks. Maybe I will. Do you know what I mean? And I just like wedding. I want like all my family because I'm like really close with my family in life now. Like it's taken a long time to get to this point, but I'm not. And we were always close. I shouldn't say like there was ever a falling out or like anything. I just I'm a difficult person to deal with, and my family has dealt with me amazing, and I love them, and I just want them all to be at my wedding. That's my only wish. My only wish. That's all I want. And I keep putting it out there that I want them at my wedding. I want my dad to walk me down the aisle. I want mom to be front row. I want that to all happen for me. But it's all God's timing, not mine. Here's a bunch of new stuff I can show you. I got 
Polaroid film. I got a Polaroid camera. So I have the Instax one, which I love, but I wanted to get like an actual Polaroid. Um, I got this like tanning lotion because we're going to Mexico this weekend and we're going to Greece soon. Got a bunch. This is my favorite shampoo I use. This is like a travel size one for like short trips. And then this is like a big one for my house. Um, it's called Blonde Life by Joyco. Um, Zoe, who does my hair, is actually like the ambassador for that line, which is like... She got me hooked on it for sure. <clears throat> and then I was showing a fidget spinner. Let me see over here. I think the Airbnb across the street, cause so where the fidget, I think I put it in the bathroom. I don't know if I should even show this, but it's an anal plug fidget spinner. I'm gonna show it in the dark actually, cause I don't want this to get flagged. But, <laughs> isn't that so cool? Watch. Like, if you're all, if you're very sexual but also have OCD and like things that light up, like this is so me. I love this, and it has different settings of the lights too, different calming things. I could do like a whole ASMR with that. I think that's so cool. Anyways, let's get back to cooking. Dude, my bacon sizzling really fast, actually. All right, it's on the move. So yeah. Well, that's going quick, which is nice. Awesome. I gotta get in the habit of like washing my dishes right after I eat, or at least that day, because when I go to eat in the morning, the same thing. I like to, I want to have like a routine, like this for breakfast, like turkey for lunch. Like I want to have that routine. When I'm hungry, I want to eat right away, as most people do. I do try and wait till my stomach tells me, okay, I'm hungry. I don't like to be starving. That's what I was doing last week, and I gained so much weight in Chicago and New York. Because Jason's really good at, like, not eating a lot. Like, he can wait. Oh, this works again. Sus. This was broken, remember? Hmm. Weird. Um, so, I, I don't like to be starving, but I like to wait until my body's like, okay, you're hungry, girl. So, anyways. Okay, this, this bacon be cooking. Love a cooking bacon. There's like, I get a lot of tweets about when I forgot to turn the, I didn't realize the stove wasn't on when I was cooking these eggs and the, everyone's like, a whole mood. That is a mood though. Is this what's stuck in there? That's stuck in there. Okay. Ooh, double yolk, love that. Crazy glass to freedom. Something they can never take away, no matter what. I really want to be on a Hamilton Broadway, guys. I know that is the craziest thing, but I want to be involved with Hamilton somehow, some way, and I'm just putting it out there into the universe. I just like love that show so freaking much. I do want to get back to like muffins like once a week and like working out. Like I'm gonna work out today too. Like I need to start developing like a routine of like okay, like maybe working out before breakfast, maybe not. I don't really know. But I need structure. I need like okay, this is what I'm gonna do, or like I'm gonna work out tonight or something. You know what I mean? I had I haven't been working out, but. And it's going to be hard because we're going to Mexico. Me and my mom are going to Mexico. I did invite my sister, but my sister has school starting and stuff. So, and she's going to watch mukbang. And she, like, my sister, by the way, and my mom, I mean, so many people, like, will crap on. First of all, I had to say this one cooking breakfast. First of all, so many people were, like, don't surprise people with a, an animal. I have been saying, my mom has been saying for so long that we wanted a Pomeranian. Like, we've... My mom lives alone, and she's older, and she doesn't work. I mean, she does. She works. She helps me with a lot of things. She does her own YouTube. She does my Poshmark. Um, she so she does, and she like literally is like kind of my assistant. So she helps me with so much stuff. Um, like so much, like beyond what a mom or assistant needs to do. Um, but she, you know, she's like, you know, she's not dating really right now. So. I wanted a puppy, but I knew, I knew, I knew, I've always said this, I knew that puppies are extremely hard to take care of, like, I didn't know if I was going to be able to take care of one, so, I, like, Jason's, like, so many times, like, do you want to go get you one, do you want to get you one, just, like, not even for a vlog, and I was, like, well, I knew they were expensive, um, sorry, 
Sorry, I'm like focusing on this bacon right now. I'm flipping it. So it's something we've wanted for like a year. We wanted a Pomeranian for a, like a year. It wasn't like he just surprised us for a video and I was like, here's a puppy, take care of it. So we've been researching it and all this stuff like that for a year. And yeah, I mean, we are first time. My mom's had dogs when she was younger, but I'm, I've never had an animal. So yes, I'm a first time, but everyone has to be first time when they have a puppy, right? Like no one, no one's at birth owning a dog. <laughs> I mean, I guess if your family has one, but even then, it's your family taking care of it, not you. So to have your own puppy, everyone has to be a first time, you know. At some point, you have to have your first time owning a puppy. So, anyways. Having said that, I did see a tweet, and I, like, I wanted to super like it. It said something like, mukbang Gucci has probably a better life than all of us. And obviously, that person was being sarcastic, and, like, the comments on mukbang's thing... Not sarcastic, but it was a joke that was like kind of funny because obviously we spend a, we take them to like the bougiest vet and like in this really nice area that's kind of like about thirty minutes from my mom. So the point of that was like obviously I'm, I don't skip on luxuries in life. I'm not rich by any means, but I, I like nice things in life, and I can I'm at a point where I can afford nice things. Not necessarily comfortably, but I can afford nice things. So I don't know. For me, I just. I don't know. And I don't have kids, so I'm hoping it's literally like my kid, like my child. And we always make sure he has, like, you know, all his medicines, his checkups, his shots, all that stuff like that. And then, and then some. We get him. He has so many beds, so many cushions. If you follow him on Instagram, he has an official, an official muffin penis. We should have gotten an Instagram, honestly, before we announced the name, because, like, all the names were taken. So it is kind of, like, a long, weird name. But... You guys can tell him that. I tag him a lot, so. He has like 150,000 followers, which is insane. As of recording this, who knows where he's at. Um, yeah. These eggs cook it so fast. Um. Okay. Settle down, little babies. Sometimes bacon cooks really fast, and sometimes it's like really slow. So yeah, I'm back for like the week, but because I've been gone for a week, I have so much to catch up on. Like my nails are so, I'll show you guys, my nails are so outgrown. Um, I'm getting new hair next. Like, I mean, it's gonna be a busy, busy week. It's like, I think Jason has to be out of his house within this week, but also he has family coming into town. Just even busy, busy with that. Just so much happening. And I have so many things I want to do, like videos and music videos. I have new songs I want to do. I don't know if I should put them in an album or release them as a single so they come out quicker. Like, I have so much I want to do. I'm going to show you these nails real quick. Like, this is the worst, I think, my nails. I don't think it's going to focus. Yeah, there you go. I mean, I know some of you probably really like, definitely got bad, Trish, but for me, it's bad. Oh no, what's happening here? Oh, I'm just fogging this up. Oops, my bad. Oh! Fogged that whole thing up with eggs. That was stupid. So, anywho, that's kind of an update on my life. I know I'm not on keto, like that's not how keto works. You just put your body in ketosis and then it starts dropping way fast. Again, it just makes me feel a little better to start something off with like no cheese, no carbs. Like I feel better that way, so. I'm sure in Mexico this week we're gonna have some salsa and quesadillas. This is actually for my mom's 60th birthday. So I was supposed to take her the weekend after her birthday. Then I was going to surprise Jason doing something, and then that just didn't work out. So I ended up canceling the trip to do the surprise, and then the surprise didn't really work out anyways. So this is kind of like the redo. Um, all right, guys. Oh, yeah, that's hot.
there and let that sit. All right, guys. That concludes another eating with Trish video. Cooking with Trish. No, portion of the vlog, I should say. Oh my God, I'm so messy over here. I don't know how to cook, but this is what I cook, so. Yeah, it's pretty quick. Pretty in and out. Because I did used to always, I don't know if you guys remember. Ugh, I just, I had yolk on it and I just licked my fingers. That was weird. I get food and I instantly lick my fingers, but. Um. I don't even know what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh yeah, I used to post my, my egg whites and bacon. And people were like, you could literally cook that. That's so silly. And you know what? I have to say for once, the comments were right. And honestly, I like the way mine tastes better. I like my bacon. It's super thick. I cook it how I like it. And that's my meal. I'm going to go watch some YouTube. I got a lot to catch up on.